Okay, I am going to record this this explanation. Voy a grabar la, la explicación, just the, just the explanation. Okay, so as I said, comparative. The comparative is used to compare two things. Uh, animals could be also people and places, but always two. Okay. To form the comparative, we have to add er to the adjective. Remember that when we are talking about comparative, we are talking about adjectives. Okay, si estamos hablando de comparativo, estamos hablando de adjetivos. Uh, we compare with adjectives. Big, small, beautiful, expensive, comfortable, right? So if I have a comparative which has one syllable, oh my gosh, ¿cómo se escribe one syllable? I don't remember. Let me check because I don't want to miss this. Wait a second. Yep, I was right. Syllable. So when I have a comparative that has Gosh. One syllable, we have to add ER. For example, for example, we have small, smaller, tall, taller. Uh, tell me another comparative which has only one syllable. Díganme uno que tenga solamente una sílaba. Big. Large. Okay. Give me a second. I don't like it. Wow. Wait, wait a second. Ya me dañaste el video. Perdón, me dañaron el video. Eso es mi hija molestando. Okay, so somebody said big, then we have bigger. And remember, in this case, when we say, um, when we have an adjective that has vowel, sorry, consonant plus a vowel, plus another consonant, we have to double the last consonant, right? That's why we have bigger, bigger in that case, with double G. The other, was, the other one was large. Maybe in Spanish, we could say that large is, it has two syllables. Si nosotros lo vemos así, como en español nosotros tenemos que sílabas son um, separada así como large in English is not the same obviously because we have um, we don't mention the, the last the last letter in este caso la e no se menciona so that is why we have one syllable large and then in that case as we have the last as we have an e we don't have to add another only the r Como tenemos una E al final, solamente añadimos la R. Then we have exceptions. Do you remember which are the exceptions? ¿Recuerdan cuáles son las excepciones que tenemos ahí de one syllable? Uh -huh. Duplicar la letra. No. Hay una que es una excepción que yo le dije. Um, que 
que eh, tiene más de una sílaba, pero se utiliza como si fuera con, que se le añade la ER. Ok, I'm going to give you an example. For example, we have Pisces. Pisces. So as you see, it has more than one syllable. In that case, we have to change the Y for I and add ER. Pisier. Okay. Pisier. When we have the adjective that ends in Y, we follow the same rule. ER. For example, another is happy. Happy has two syllables. In that case, we say happier. Right. Happier. And then we have the other um, adjectives that are, that has more than one syllable, right? In that case, we have to use more instead of adding ER to the adjective, right? So we have, for example, I'm going to write more than one syllable. Um, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use famous. In that case, I use more. In that case, I use more famous. Um, expensive. I have to use more expensive. Uh, which um, I'm gonna use comfortable. More comfortable. And that's it. Well, in that case. I am using positive sentences. Okay, I could say, I am more famous than you. You are more comfortable in your room than me. But in ese caso, estoy diciendo más, más. Pero si yo quiero decir menos, menos, in that case, I am going to use the, the word less. Right, I'm going to use the same examples. Yes. Okay. The one is the um, the first sentence is more famous, más famoso, less famous, menos famoso. Okay. More expensive, less expensive. More comfortable, less comfortable. And remember that all most of the time, not always, most of the time we have to use the word than in the sentence. Remember, if we are mentioning the two things in the sentence, we have to use them. Si estamos mencionando los dos objetos, cosa, persona que estamos comparando en la oración, se debe de utilizar then. If not, And is not necessary. Si no estamos mencionando las dos personas, cosas que se están comparando, entonces no es necesario utilizar then. So as an example, I could say, my sister is taller than me. Ahí yo estoy mencionando las dos personas. My sister is the first, first person and me is the second person. And another example is, my sister is taller. En ese caso, no tengo que utilizar then, porque no estoy mencionando a la otra persona. Understand? Yeah, understand. Excellent. Um, another thing that you have to remember about comparative is that we have irregular comparative, I mean irregular adjectives. 
in that case, I'm going to use this too. Good, better. Recuerden que yo no puedo decir good. Bad. Okay, exactly. Bad, worse. Okay, so those are irregular adjectives. Then we are going to review the superlative. I'm going to use the same examples. Okay, superlative. Let me copy that. Let me use that another color. So we have superlative. And in this case, when we are using superlative, it is for more than two things, animals, people, places. Okay, we are comparing one thing with a group of things. Estamos comparando una cosa con un grupo de cosas. Ok. No voy a decir Okay, sorry, I'm here. Bye bye. Um, well, to form the superlative, then to form the superlative in that case, we have to add est to the adjective, right? Um, for adjectives that have adjectives that have one syllable. In that case, small, smallest, tall, tallest, big, biggest. Okay, we follow the same rule. Seguimos la misma regla de repetir la última consonante con este tipo de, de adjetivos. Large, largest. The exceptions, again, if the adjective has two syllables but ends in Y, again, Cambiamos la I, la Y por I latina, añadimos EST. Spicy, spiciest. And, um, adjectives that have more than one syllable, in that case, we are going to use must. Must, famous, must, expensive, must, comfortable, right? And in that case, in the negative sentences, we are going to use least. Least famous, least expensive, least comfortable. And in this case, we have to use always, always the article D. Always goes in the sentence. Always, no es no igual que, que con Dan, porque aquí siempre tenemos que utilizar D. Ok, then, then well, I'm going to use the same example. My sister is the tallest. En este caso, como yo no estoy comparando dos cosas en un grupo de cosas, yo puedo decir, my sister is the tallest in my family. Okay, un grupo de personas. My sister is the tallest in my family. And my cell phone is the newest in my in my house. In my house, sorry. Okay, so remember that. As you remember, they showed you the examples like this. The spiciest, the happiest, because we always have to use the article at the beginning. I mean, before the adjective. The tallest, the biggest, the largest, the most famous, the most expensive, the most comfortable. And again, we have here the we have the irregular adjectives. In 
that case, good is best, the best, and bad is the worst. Okay. Okay, so tell me, you have a question or something that you want to add? Here, like this. Okay, so everything is clear? No hay preguntas? No hay dudas? I guess no. Okay, yo le voy a tomar una captura a la pantalla para enviarla al grupo. Wait a second. Poner aquí y poner esto aquí para que salga bien. Okay. So, well, let me send the, the capture and then we're going to, to make a practice then. Let me stop this. 